please have Jerry's most compatible match step forward. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't, I, surprised. Hi, my name is Jeremy. Today I'm going to be dating 10 girls. One of them has been selected as my perfect match based on our compatibility scores and the Nectar app. I'm going to see if I can figure out which one it is. I would say that I'm not normally good at picking the right match for myself. I've like dated every type of person that I'm not compatible with. Above all, honestly, it's so corny, but I really like anyone who makes me laugh, like and anyone who I just generally enjoy my time with, I feel like that's definitely like it for me. I haven't been in a relationship in a while. Like I've dated, but I haven't been like in like a committed couple for a while. So I'm very excited. Hi. Jeremy, nice to meet you. Lotus, cool. Hi. Hi, I'm Kayla. Kayla? I like your shoes. Thank you. They're really nice. I appreciate that. I'm definitely a New Balance guy. Me too. Really? Well, I'm not a New Balance guy. I'm a New Balance girl. I'm Destiny. Destiny, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. I love the headgear. Thank Wait, you. Wait, no, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to say something to me. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> My bad. I'm messing it up. Uh, I like your dimples. Thank you. Yeah. I made them myself. I'm Leah. Leah. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. You got a beard. That's yes. a plus. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Katie. Nice Katie, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, I was going to use a pickup line, but I'm just going to say I like your hair. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. You have a good handshake. Oh, really? You're strong. Yay. Yeah. I'm Lyric. Lyric? Yes. Cool. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeremy. You have really cool eyes. I'm not sure what color they are, but they, they look like they match your shirt a little bit, so that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ula. Ula, nice to meet you. Nice to see you as well. Um, I like your bangs. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Charlotte. Charlotte, nice, nice to meet you. you. I like your mustache. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm Lydia, and that Lydia. girl over there thinks you're really cute. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> nice to cool. meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> Mercedes. Mercedes, nice, nice to, to meet you. I like your smile. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Us too? Yeah. yeah. I think me and someone with face tattoos, like, I love the opposites attract thing, but I just feel like we're, like, too different. Oh, oh. that was very smooth. Okay, who knows what they want out of a partner in a show of hands? Really? I mean, you guys are way ahead of me. It took me I'm like, it took me forever to figure out what I wanted in a partner. Okay, so I'm curious what everyone's, like, TV crush is. I would say, have you seen Superbad? Yeah. You, who, uh, Michael Sarah? <laughs> yeah. The, the underdog, the guy yeah. who's the sweetheart okay. to women, like yes. in the world of like nasty people, he's like, I want to treat somebody right. That's the guy that I go for. Have you watched The Witcher? The Witcher? Yeah, Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's um, what do you like about him? He's very manly and I like to feel protected. I like Ryan Reynolds. I like the fact that he's just like, can hit banter with you and has the charisma, so I like that. I don't really watch TV, but James Bond, yeah. because he's very like calm demeanor and has everything under yeah. control, like, I feel really safe. I would kind of say, um, going off what Lydia was saying, Ryan Reynolds probably, mm. but like not his like movie character like personalities, but his actual personality. I just love the relationship that he has like in real life. What part of you are you hoping that a partner will help bring out? I would say like my feminine side, like when I'm with a man that's like more protective, I bring out the more like kind of soft feminine side. I like to be pushed out of my comfort zone for the better good. And I, I do the same for my partners. I would say for me, my, my silly side, mm -hmm. I feel like I can, not weird, but like I feel like I'm just like a weirdo, you know, in like yeah. a funny way, I guess. Yeah. There's no <laughs> good way to sell that. I would say the same thing, like someone who could bring out the funny parts of me. I do think I'm a pretty funny person, but maybe that doesn't read immediately. I think sometimes I just need a little push to do what I'm uncomfortable with, and they just say, you got it, I'm like, okay. I feel like I need somebody who's like my teammate in life, and I need somebody to push me to do things. So I definitely would want somebody who's supportive and like really sees me fully, and um, I feel like when I have that kind of support, I definitely come out of my shell, because um, I do think I'm very like reserved and like sensitive and shy and quiet, but you know, actually I, can be on the other side of that spectrum when given the right kind of support. Would you guys say that you are I people or we people? Yeah. I think right now I'm an I, but now like if I were to get in a relationship, I have to switch it to we. Like I've been single for a while, so it's very just like whatever I want to do, I'm going to do. And then so once you switch that over to your relationship, it's like you got to merge the two and make it happen. I feel like the way that you've come to appreciate having someone to help you be accountable to yourself 
is by having a period where you're only, where you have to like, you have to be a self-sustaining person. Like you have to be your own accountability system and like you have to be able to make sure that you're okay and like have like a self-care routine and all that stuff. I feel like with partners, sometimes people look for like their other half and it's like, no, you're already whole and you just need another whole, that's it. So in a relationship, what would you say is everyone's communication style? I'm very straightforward. If I don't like something, I'm gonna tell it to you and I'm hoping that we can communicate and reciprocate the same thing. I'm also the same way. I'm very straightforward and bold and working on how to deliver that so it doesn't hurt your feelings, but still working on that, but definitely very bold and straightforward. I'm not the opposite necessarily, but I would say I have a harder time, like, it depends on how they are too, because like I'm very like reactive to like how they're gonna react. So like if they're more of a person who isn't gonna react to whatever it is I'm gonna say, then I would feel more comfortable doing that. But if they're the type of person that might get irritated or like feel a type of way if I bring something up, then it might make me feel like I shouldn't and I'll probably just wait until it really bothers me to say anything, depending on what the situation is. I feel like having the emotional capacity to have open and honest conversations is very important to me, but also I've definitely had instances in the past where I'm very much open to talking through issues right away and I've had to learn like not everyone is like that and you have to give people their space and their time. Um, if you were alone in your car and no one was there with you, right? Uh huh. What is the first song you'd play? Oh, um, first song I would play. It could be anything. Probably Fantasy by Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I feel like, I feel like dancing in your car, that's like the song, you know? Three. Okay. Um. I, yeah. And I need accountability in a relationship. And I don't feel like those were partners that I would necessarily get that with. I feel like I need a woman with backbone and like a little bit more of like a no BS type of person. Like someone who like is able to call you out on stuff. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, welcome. Nice seeing you again. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. <laughs> Have you been to this restaurant before? Uh, no, this is actually my first time. Have you been here? Um, I'm actually friends with the owner. Oh, I'm gonna have to go. But we're on the outs, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so they're probably gonna are they gonna comp our meal or not? No, they're gonna definitely give us like really difficult okay. experience. On you though? Yeah, that'd okay. be nice to you. Okay, sounds good. I saw your tattoo, what does that mean? It's an Aquarius sign, I'm an Aquarius. What city skyline is, is that New York? It is half New York, half San Francisco. Okay. I'm just kind of curious, like why you're doing this? Like, it's just kind of like surprising, like why you haven't been with somebody yet? Are you like picky? Are you just not running into the right people? Are you looking for something that just like isn't there? Like, kind of like, where's your head at? I am picky, but I'm also, I, I've noticed that I have a little bit of people pleasing in me. So I tend to like, feel bad to break up with someone. When I had my business, I would try to date and it was just a disaster because I didn't have the mental space and the like emotional space for a partner. Yeah. Because I'm like really all or nothing. Yeah, I'm so, the same way. What is being in a relationship with you like? I say it's really fun because uh -huh. I feel like I'm just very down. Like whatever you want to do, like I'm down to do it together. Like you want to go for a walk, you want to go for a run, you're like, I don't know, watch like dolphins. Are there parts of being an Aquarius that like you feel connected to? A lot, yeah. I okay. feel like sometimes I can be very nonchalant and detached from emotions, but uh -huh. then also I'm, you know, when I know the person and I like someone, I can be all over on them. So it's just really the matter of time. What's your favorite way to spend time with a partner? I like spending any amounts of time with my partner. We don't have to be doing anything extravagant if we're like just laying in bed or watching a movie or going out to dinner. Like literally just as long as I get quality time and you're not on your phone and you're just locked in, I'm good. I would say similar, but I also feel like it's easy to get into that like homebody loop because like I love spending time at home with someone. I feel like you go out and you have those experiences where like something crazy happens and then it's like, you're just like, what, like what? Did we just both really see that? Like, I love that feeling. If you're like having a disagreement with your partner, do you like to resolve it right away or do you like to wait? Personally, I like to solve it right away. For me, I don't like anything festering. Let's say like we're on a cruise, like mm -hmm. with my family or something, like okay. we're obviously not gonna be disagreeing and fighting in front sure. of them, but I think there's like a time and place for it. But my self-respect is like, really up there so I can't like just brush something under the rug if I feel like it, there's a problem like I have to talk about it. I love this fantasy life of just like oh like just, just every, a lot of cruise. going on cruises all the time. <laughs>
Well, what about you? How do you like to problem solve in your relationships? Are you, do you need space? Yeah. Yeah, you do? Okay. No, 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 no. Oh. Um, I like to just get it out all in the open. I wouldn't want to like talk about something like out in public, yeah. or, but like I feel comfortable until it's like resolved. How do you feel like the way that you grew up affects your dynamic and relationships now? Mm, I definitely have daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never really had a father figure in my life, which is like, you know, most of the girls, which is, which made me more like stronger, I think. I'm a very work-oriented person. Workaholic. Workaholic, yeah. 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 Better I... than alcoholic, right? Okay, when you're getting to know someone, getting into a relationship, how much time do you think is smart to spend with them or how much time should you give to them? Even if we don't do everything together, I just love being like in the loop with each other. If I'm comfortable enough with someone to act as though I'm by myself when I'm around them. Like if I, cause I'm, I'm introverted, so I get energy by like being by myself or being with someone that I'm totally comfortable and totally myself with. Well, what do you like to do in your free time? I feel like my hobbies are all like based around a goal. Like I like something where it's like you complete a project, like build something like a piece of furniture or something like that. What about you? Um, I, I really like watching movies in my free time. I like yeah. to go to shows by myself and like meet new people and make new friends. Is it easier for you to feel connected to someone emotionally or physically? Emotionally, for sure. Like, I think that um, I don't really get physically attracted to a lot of people, but like once I get to know you and have a conversation with you and if we vibe, then I'm like, oh, okay, I can see myself going on a date with you or getting your number or anything like that. You talked about how working is like a big part of your life. Do you feel like you have space for a relationship or would you be able to make space for one? I would be, yes, because I really want to do that together. You know, my work is very flexible. So mm -hmm. I work in social media. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but I travel a lot. I really, I'm very adventurous, so mm -hmm. I need someone who likes to travel and see things. I know what you're saying because it's like you have all these really cool experiences working in social media, yeah. but like you don't have anybody to share them with, kind of. Yes. And so it's like it would be so nice to have someone that like you, you can... share with. Yeah. 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 And, and even just like you can tell your friends about it, but it's like... It's different. Yeah, it's different when it's yeah. that person that you're really connected exactly. to. I feel good. Honestly, if I were to have met any of these women like on an in a dating app or something, I would be like blown away. Like you guys are all very nice and like easy to talk to and just like genuinely like great finds. Thank you. Oh. So in making my decision, I felt like some people had goals that were more aligned with mine or had like lifestyle that was more aligned with mine. But I know that ultimately like those are all superficial. So I feel like the core personality traits that the test brought to my attention about myself, um, I saw those qualities reflected in one person like above everyone else. Uh, I really like Mercedes. I feel like, <laughs> yeah. When you talked about your goals and stuff like that, like it yeah. seems like you want someone that you can take on the world with. Girl, yeah, I grow with, yeah. I, I appreciated that in you too, that you're, you sound like a very hardworking man. So I definitely need someone who's like, you know, a little bit more firm and you did a lot of things in your life already, so I respect that. Okay, Jeremy, you've made your final pick. But actually, Mercedes was not your most compatible based on the compatibility test. Oh. So could I please have Jeremy's most compatible match step forward? Um, I, I don't know, I didn't, I, surprised. I didn't feel like we, were that similar. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that like I am shy and like I don't always present myself in like um, I guess the most honest way that is true to myself. I think it's a lot of it has to do with like um, just like nervousness and like shyness and all of that um, and that's actually part of like why I've had like issues in the past with dating because I feel like I can kind of tell when I'm compatible with somebody um, but I think sometimes the way I present myself doesn't showcase who I am and then that can mislead people so I feel like that's kind of what happened in this case. Outside of your shell you're like really like your tone and stuff and like the way that you speak is like really if it seems so much more like confident in yourself and it's like really attractive. So Jeremy, you picked Mercedes of all women. Your percentage of compatibility based on the test that you guys took on Hector was 53%. That's better than 50, you know? <laughs> I thought it's gonna be higher t for some reason, but I think it's something like two adults can work on. So, you know, it's just numbers. With Ula, it was 91%. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Um, wow. So, based on that information, do you want to stick with your original pick, or would you rather go with Ula? <laughs> um. I feel like Mercedes and I got to know each other better and I just like feel compatible with Mercedes. 53% not, not that bad. I feel like I relate to her. The way that she interacts with the world or the way that she describes interacting with the world, I'm like, oh yeah, like I've had those feelings. I've had the, like I've, I've felt that way before. But yeah, it really surprised me. I thought that she was gonna be my most compatible to be honest. I liked his answers as well because he was thinking. He was giving like very, a little bit more shy and like a thinker. I like that. I don't like someone who is like more like a swagger and just gives straight answers without thinking and hesitation because they just want to show off or they want to say what people want to hear. So I really like that about him. Okay, so I'm actually gonna ask Michaela to step forward. So you actually had the least. No way. Okay, I felt <laughs> like we had a lot in common. I like, thought I, we yeah, did too. I felt like, well, maybe it's just because we both like coffee. Yeah. Leah, could you step forward? Yeah. So you were eliminated first. Yeah. Um, and you both said that you didn't feel like you had that much in common. Yeah. Except you were his second most compatible. Who'd I tell? <laughs> <laughs> we're so opposite, and it usually works that way. It's like our minds think alike, but we're just completely opposite, if that makes any sense. So I just kind of had a feeling. <laughs> when I see somebody, I can kind of be like, yes, I want to be your friend. Yes, I want to date you. No, I don't, type of thing. And off the bat, it was just like, no. I feel like we would just want to be in different places. Yeah. Like you would want to go to different stuff than I would want to go to. Yeah. You would want to watch I feel like movies. you can just tell a yeah. lot of the times when you're not somebody's person in friendship or in partnership. I think we should really kind of focus on like getting to know people like um, slowly over time instead of thinking like oh right off the bat no right off the bat yes because I just don't think it's realistic um, and I've, as we've seen it's like you just really can't tell right away so you really have to give things time to kind of figure it out. He's thoughtful like that that was kind of the impression that I got and I like that he had like a business or something so he was like entrepreneur minded which kind of is what I'm like too. So I felt like there were a lot of things that we would have had in common. So I would have been interested to talk to him more. It's, it's such a surreal situation to be in and it feels so abnormal, especially like having to look for those things that you like, that you really like in someone and that you really want to be around. I feel like I learned a lot. I learned so much and it was really cool to be around so many different people and like that was a lot harder than I expected. <laughs> it was way more difficult than I thought it was going to be.